Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka The Venom Blog. And this is going to be a quick episode because I don't think I can show the footage. Um, it's just a little quick video that Todd McFarlane made. And I'm going to put a link down below. I think I saw it on Bloody Disgusting. And they have their video for it, like at the link. So I'll put it down below because I don't think it's up on uh, Todd McFarlane's Instagram anymore. But I'll put a link to his Instagram anyway because you guys should be following him over there. And I think it might even be on his Facebook page. So I'll put a link down there too, uh, just in case. But I saw this posted on Bloody Disgusting today. And I saw it originally on McFarlane's Instagram a couple days ago because I follow him and every time he posts a video I usually watch it because they're always really cool they're talking about toys that he's working on or they're talking about a drawing he's working on and in this video he actually kind of slightly critiques the look of Venom in the upcoming Venom movie but he actually says a lot of positive things about it he's like you know if I were God in a sense like if I was in charge of everything about this movie because he knows that you know everyone has their job at, on working on movies and there's the director and then there's the visual effects person and there's the, the artists and everyone who's working on it he's like so if I was the one person that made all the decisions uh, which is you know rarely a ca you know the case on a movie set um, he's like I would this is what I would do and he takes this uh, picture of Venom the one that looks like the 90s cartoon where he's like lit with blue light on one side and red on the other um he takes that drawing and he kind of tweaks it. He tweaks the eyes a little bit. He tweaks the mouth and how the teeth work. And uh, he made this like fun little video. But he overall says, as the co-creator of Venom, uh, the character himself, he co-created Venom. And he says, dude, this guy looks awesome. He's big. He's muscly. He's intimidating looking. He's a monster. He looks he looks awesome. And he just talks really highly about how Venom looks. And I saw some people out there going, well, see, you know, McFarlane loves it. So what, all you haters need to shut up. And it's like, well, you don't have to use it in that regard. Um, McFarlane does like it. It. He, he you know showed that he did like you know did like the design overall and he had some minor tweaks but he's like hey but overall what I'm getting I still like I think it looks cool and uh, that, but that shouldn't you know stop other people from having a different opinion if they truly had that opinion I know some people and I know a lot of you guys want me to talk about it how uh, you know there's people out there who just want to hate on this movie to hate on this movie but I just don't want to give them the platform you know this is my show and I don't want to make an episode really about them you know to, and that's really why I don't do it uh, it's not even just about you know keeping my show positive it's just like if they're not worth my time and they're not really worth getting upset over if they're if their life is so perfect that they're going to get upset over a venom movie coming out without spider-man then you know good for them i'm glad they have a great life <laughs> uh, i'm glad that's like that's the thing that upsets their their whole balance is that uh, spider-man's not going to be in a movie with venom but to me i think characters should be able to breathe on their own you know that's like saying a joker movie can't exist without batman and that's coming up pretty soon with some great actors involved and so sometimes characters you don't want to just restrain them to be just the villain just the person that the hero hates or has a disagreement with if you think you can take them in a direction and expand them in a way that pulls them away from their original roots then it's worth a try I mean that's how these characters exist and stay alive for 30 40 50 plus years is by doing new things with them and trying different things uh, if we don't do that then we we don't get the longevity that these characters deserve and so to me I'm not gonna get so bent out of shape I am looking forward to this Venom movie I'm optimistic about it if it comes out and I'm not a big fan of it I'll tell you guys but uh, that's not gonna shut me down just because they're doing things that are kind of radically different it's not gonna shut me down from being a little bit optimistic because I feel like Eddie Brock on his own is a solid character and I feel like he does deserve the spotlight and he does deserve his own movie and if it requires them to do it without Spider-Man if that's one of their limitations I'm willing to see where it goes so I am that's why I make this show and that's why I'm overall optimistic because before I started the show you guys you know I talked about it before I was not on board with this movie I thought it was a, a big mistake but then as I started to learn more and then as I started doing the show I thought maybe talking about it more and, and meeting other people out there maybe I could see the, the you know and reading rereading the comics maybe I could see that this is something that has merit to it something that has value to it and something that should be done and you saw over the course like the first 20 30 episodes of the show I kind of turned around on that and was a little bit more optimistic so that's just I like being like that I just like giving things a chance if it looks good to me and it does look good to me um, so yeah anyway check out the Todd McFarlane stuff I thought it was really cool I wanted to bring it to you guys and for those of you out there waiting for the toy stuff uh, as you can see I have Carnage back there and I use Venom's up on my shelf I already recorded the Venom video but I haven't got to the others yet because I was waiting for these to come in and they came in today we got Typhoid Mary and Scream and so now I can finish all these videos so what I'll probably do is I'll film them on um, Thursday I'm off and I'll probably film these videos on 
Thursday and start posting them up this weekend and, and early into next week. So they're not going to go up this week, unfortunately. Uh, but you know, maybe if I can maybe get a couple of them filmed and edited, maybe you'll see one or two of them on Thursday or Friday if I can. Uh, but I, I won't do them in order. I'll, I'll just get them out as fast as I can and we'll do other episodes in between if we have to. But uh, yeah, so I got the whole set. We're going to build Monster Venom. We're going to have a good time and they're going to fill up that shelf back there and be in the background for every episode from here on out. So thank you guys for being patient with that. I really do appreciate it. And let me know what you think of the Todd McFarlane stuff and any other comments I made here. Let me know your opinion down below. As always, I want to hear what you have to say about it. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.